Hello and welcome back to Citizen Sleeper. We are going to be making some major progress today. Um, what? In what form, though? I mean, I'm. Uh, ooh, uh, I guess I read something into that that wasn't there. Um, I am. I'm enjoying things. I. I have to. Well, actually, before we do anything, let's go ahead and and upgrade ourselves or or fix ourselves. Um, I'm gonna try and uh, resolve this killer um you know story and that is going to take some of our condition i'm pretty sure it's going to take three condition we have two fours and a three i think that should be enough there will be exactly one risky roll also also um i think our mushrooms are done today kind of want to do that first in a weird way let's uh no nah, let's let's go ahead and do do this first. I think that this is more valuable in many ways. Loop branches. Um. Three, six. It's weird because it like it, this has less. Hmm. I guess this is only the fail condition. The positive condition is catch a killer. The fail condition is lose. Con uh, lose condition i know that's confusing to hear but i okay uh i see what's what's up here i'm like this doesn't feel like a choice it totally is a choice though because um it only isn't a choice because i have plus two in engineer um but i am going to take the interface route because that feels truer to our character it feels compassionate for something that doesn't necessarily need compassion but I am, you know, that's the route I'm going to take. As you blink into the cloud, you see the last flickers of light from the mainframe. The va this vast machine once ran the whole station, span it up, directed and processed the flow of energy, water, and data, fed the lives of thousands of people. Now it is finally dead. Navigator is beside you, and you both look out at the perfect ring that encircled you both woven from the data branches that once fed the mainframe. You see a glint along its edge, and that familiar blade-like head rises to the surface, like the cresting fin of a shark, and then slips into the loop again. All that you can see of Killer's body after that is slight thickening of the loop, and that thickening begins to travel along, around on a long and slow sojourn that will last it forever. I am surprised at you, says Navigator, drifting faintly around you in a lazy orbit as if to shake off their imprisonment. Killer had been wandering blind for so long. Did you not think to end them forever? Perhaps they can be saved. Or I will not kill another being. But is the killer a being or a system? The question remains. Navigator gazes into the darkness. This place was their domain and prison, and they had followed their directives for the many decades that ro they roamed here. They cut the threads of the mainframe, executed its administrators, AIs, and then kept slicing. At some point, they cut away their own ability to see, to sense, to taste, to speak, and yet they kept cutting, until only those three threads remained, from millions that once thrummed here. Only their blindness and chance kept them from making those final three fatal cuts. There is a ceaseless violence in the kind of system that creates beings like this, those that will execute commands endlessly, even to their own destruction. Navigator looks to you for your thoughts. Um, I will not continue the violence. The system you float in is one built of violence. You would be naive to believe otherwise. Navigator turns away. You watch the data points of the station spin around you, blending with the fixed stars. There's something satisfying about finally wrenching the last threads of control from this central point. It was little more than a ghost by the time you reached it, but this place deserves to be haunted by better ideas than a total totalizing, totalizing system of control. Navigator floats beside you. It is free now. The system, uh, the station no longer presents a hazard for illegal entities like me. They turn to you, their face a cloud of shimmering light. In fact, in time, perhaps it can be a refuge. A refuge. That sounds like something of value, something worth building. A dark shape passes across your vision, a distant curve of something like smoke or oil, a fluid, shifting tank of total darkness. The Greenway, 
says Navigator, uh, following your line of sight. It was cut off at the moment of the collapse, so hunter or killer could never reach it. Now it is closed off to us, separated from the cra cloud. What system is inside it? It may be totally dark, or perhaps some other old protocols are isolated there. Navigator turns to you, and we have now seen that decades of isolation can do- what decades of isolation can do to a protocol. If we could extract an access cipher, they pause and then blink out of existence. You freeze, shocked, but a moment later they reappear with a glowing polygon of data. Here, the cipher you need. You take it, still shocked. I am not used to being free, to being able to move and explore and extract without fear, without limits. Navigator does a little twirl. This will take some getting used to. Thank you for this gift. They whirl their spheres around you. The entities of the station will always be friends to you, sleeper. Thank you. It is true that mutual need is required for friendship, but I must admit I had not considered the value of offering assistance without personal gain. I will think on that. Navigator loops around you rapidly, suddenly eager to test their newfound freedom. But first I will explore. Perhaps there are still intelligences that hid themselves as I did, encased in a simple systems, cut off. Navigator glows. I should like to free them. And with that they drift away, flickering, glowing, then shifting so rapidly you lose sight of them along the glittering rim of the eye. You feel a pang of jealousy, free, without a body to weigh you down, or fear to limit you. How must it feel? Your eyes fall on the greenway, and its secrets though perhaps that can wait until after you have celebrated this victory nope doing that right now heck yeah bud actually i i really appreciate how this tied into uh some of my other plot lines that i am now potentially going to pr progress um two random rare mushrooms or one gear uh, cap let's do let's use one three here Ah, uh, okay. Well, we got our third Giral cap finally. <laughs> um, I'd like to reserve, like, try again tomorrow and hope that we get our last um, club cap because that's all we need, right? Yeah, we just need club head samples. But while we're here, let's. Uh, do we have upgrades? We have. A, we have a point. So we're just waiting for um, another point and then we can get instant karma. We can finally go here. The greenway roils beneath you like a, a silt choked river. If what Navigator said was true, then no one has accessed these networks since the collapse. Uh, the hunter and killer protocols have never set foot here, never cleared out the intelligences and the systems. So why then, you wonder, does it look so dark? Is it just that the bit rot, uh, the bit rot has set in? The entropy of systems reducing everything to shadows and light? You watch as the slotted cipher fizzles in the one open, distorted gateway on this entire rim of the station. It flickers and winks out, and then you are falling into the flow. A river of swirling darkness. You are spun by it, twisted by it, lost in it. It's not that the greenway was hid, uh, hiding in the darkness. It is made of darkness. It is filled by this substance, this process, this swarm. Now you are among it. You notice that a swarm is exactly what it is. A billion individuals moving in a flow. There is no network map here, no nodes and threads, only a storm of interchangeable points, shifting configuration endlessly. Then you see them, a figure, turned away, the only bright spot in the dark river. You push closer through the storm. They are facing away, at least you think so. They are so fractured, so overgrown, that it is hard to tell. Even from this distance, you can see their flesh is moving, flowing. You watch, silent, as they stoop and reach down. In their hand is a dark shape, and with twisted fingers they press it down into the loam of data beneath them, pushing it through this trembling soil. Then they move away, go a little further, and repeat the process, as if they were sowing a field. You push forward, but somehow, despite their slow and deliberate speed, they move faster, and they quickly fade into the storm. You reach the point where they planted the object and look down. There it is, a glassy, shifting polygon, with something inside. You reach down and pick it up. 
It is cold, but it thrums with energy. You look towards the path of the figure, but they are long gone. When you blink out of the cloud, back to the leaves, and the dappled light of the greenway, you hold a seed in your hand. Uh, do I hold a seed in my hand? I guess I do. Is it a, it's a physical seed? I do, gardener seed. You need to find somewhere safe to plant this gift. Interesting. I'm assuming we can't do anything with that yet. Okay. Um, is there nothing else to do here? We could do, maybe we can plant it in the farm stacks. No. So we are finally going to wrap up or at least continue Emphasis story. I haven't seen them for possibly over 10 episodes, which is ridiculous. But hey, you know, we finally did it. Uh, I guess we're waiting for that. Working on gathering the ingredients and preparing the mushrooms. He doesn't like to rush these things. Okay. That's cool. Uh, we only have one pip left to use. Not sure what we want to do with that. I kind of wouldn't mind buying some ship mine parts. I guess we can only do that here. And this is not here right now. There's nothing we can do here, right? Right. So, um, is there anything we can do here? We could play the exchange. <laughs> That's an extra way of making some money, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's just get some data. So there's no hunter now. We've completely, you know, we've made this place completely safe. There's actually, like, no threat to taking data now. Which is kind of cool. Um, alright, let's sleep. There's a couple of things we want to do. Uh, I want to get the last, the, ra uh, the last of my mushrooms tomorrow. I think we can progress that. Something tells me that the seed will eventually lead to the end of that, um, the, the Greenway quest. So let's, um, get the rest of our mushrooms. And I want to spend, um, a five here at the very least to maximize our chances. We got, we got our club head caps. Excellent. So we can spend a three not so concerned about what what else we get here no matter what it's fine neutral outcome two random mushrooms we got another gear roll cap well that's nice um so let's go back to haifa labs and give um rico our last club head sample rico is at her bench running small vials of some liquid through an old chemical analysis machine the whirring of the spinning drum fills the lab with white noise, and you aren't sure if she notices you approach. Sleeper, it's good to see you. She looks up, smiling. This little project of ours has been keeping me awake the past few cycles. But right now, well, I think I have something. What is it? You dr the drum finishes spinning, and Rico lifts a vial from it, holding it up to the light. This is something I extracted from those club heads you've been bringing me. And according to my analysis, it is a substance totally unique on the Greenway. You look at the small amount of liquid in the vial. Any idea what it could be? Stabilizer. Rico nods. You aren't the first sleeper to come through here. Perhaps I should have mentioned that earlier. Rico's tone suddenly drops, changing the atmosphere in the lab immediately. I just thought, she pauses, thinking very carefully of how to continue. I just wanted to you to trust us. What do you mean? 
she sighs. They came through a fair, a fair few cycles ago. We found them wandering in the broken section near the gap. The members who brought them in had never seen one of you before. They were terrified of this strange person, wandering in from open vacuum. They were quieter than you, and damaged. We did our best to patch them up and welcome them to the commune. I only really spoke to them once while I was working on their wounds along with a couple of system engineers. She looks nervously at you. I had never seen a body like that before. I took some readings and some samples. Samples? You have to understand. I was curious. I didn't know what I was looking at. I just took a little of that, the damaged material, less than a thumbnail. She shifts her weight to her crutch. The next cycle they were gone. They took a little food and hiked up towards the wild margins where the greenway meets the wastes. Someone saw them in the distance, but that was it. They disappeared into the overgrowth. She sits down heavily, the vial in her hand. When I saw you, I wanted things to be different. I wanted to keep you here, rather than let you disappear into whatever they ended up. Wherever they ended up. She smiles to herself. Yes, I wanted to understand this place better, but I also wanted to help you. It seems that somehow both my wishes have come true at once. She holds out a hand with the vial. This is for you. You take the stabilizer, the glass cold and smooth in your palm. How? Those club head caps made it for you, or at least who or whatever made those club heads. She starts to clear her bench. It was right there, contained in their tissue. I only had to extract it. I imagine you understand how incredible that is. I learned enough from that sleeper to know that your body, your frame, is it? Runs on some exotic technology. Exotic technology that has a time limit built in. Somehow the Greenway knows that too. It understands your physiology much better than I ever could. and knows how to treat you. Just like that miraculous antidote that sprung from the mold, so too has this sprung from your presence here. The Greenway is speaking to you. It is welcoming you. She looks up. I know it sounds crazy, but I know it to be true. Here's the evidence. And what I also know is it is no longer speaking to me. Even after decades here, I have never seen this kind of response. Not since the antidote so many cycles ago. She smiles. So I'm going to make you a deal. You bring me as many club heads as you like. I'll extract the stabilizer and give it to you. Freely. But you have to tell me what the Greenway s says. You have to speak with it. To dig into it. To find what being is at the center of it. I've traveled as far as I can. I need you to do the rest. Can you do that? Yes. Rico sighs with relief and deflates into her chair. Thank you. I'm sorry for the other sleeper. Truly I am. I'm sorry I couldn't have done more. But I'm so glad glad I met you. She smiles. You're welcome here anytime. Well, I mean, if she walked off and towards the waste, maybe she's just, like, harvesting scrap and repairing themselves. They might actually be alive. Rico falls silent. She looks smaller now, more fragile. And you realize how old she must be to have seen the collapse firsthand. You idle a little in the lab in case she asks for anything else, but she remains silent, and so you drift back into the tunnel. Thoughts of that other sleeper, and where they ended up, weighing on your mind. <clears throat> well, it seems to me... Oh, we got another upgrade point. My goodness. So we can get instant karma. It seems to me that um, we've already met the being that uh, Rico wanted us to meet. We didn't talk to them, but we did, you know, we did find them. So I can re-roll all of my dice once. Well, there it is. Plant seed. I'll take good care of it, sleeper. Rico smiles. Don't you worry. So that's going to take a little while to grow. Okay, so, um, uh, well, I was going to say, like, I'm good for stabilizer for now. It's nice to have it, for sure. Um, I would prefer, I guess, with that and combined with, um, the scrap freighter and whatever means we use to get scrap, uh, we, we, we definitely have renewable sources now. Like, we did before, but now we have better ones. Um... 
So why don't we go ahead and try and progress this as much as I can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my six. And then I'm going to re-roll the rest of my dice. We got a three. Three is not bad. Negative outcome. Negative energy. That's fine. Okay. Well, then there's really not much else we can do. Uh, I guess I'd like to spend the last... My last pip getting... Uh, growing the beds. Oh, it's dangerous. Didn't know that. Oh, perk predictive reasoning. We get grow caps from this. Did not know that. And from this, we get two grove spores. So we could have gotten garol caps from this this whole time. Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> so let's spend our last dice on this. Potential negative energy. Potential negative condition, actually. We got a neutral outcome. Would have been nice if we could have gotten a positive one, of course, because then we would have gotten two grove spores. But that's fine. And hey, uh, this is an added side effect benefit to this whole mushroom harvesting thing is um, we now have like renewable income as well, which also feeds into us being able to buy stabilizer. We can come here and sell three Matsuka, uh, what are they called? Matsutake caps for 80 cryo. That's pretty good. And I will do that. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to need some money at some point. I think we're only going to have four actions. Unfortunately, I don't have any scrap, so I couldn't improve. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <sighs> well, I, I, yeah, we do have four actions because I didn't go and eat food like an idiot. Oh, and I can't buy food from Emphis right now. All right, that's fine. We'll go to Minji Express. No, we won't go to Minji Express. Uh, that's, uh, that's dumb. All right. I guess, you know what? We'll go to the Gimbal. Why not? No, not the Hub. We want to go to the Gimbal. The Gimbal Lounge. And see if the food is anything, any different here. Plus three energy. Eh, that's fine. It's the same as Emphis. Okay. Um, the hub. Here we go. We should be able to do this. We have two fours and a five. So all of those are positives. Cool. Um... So let's see let's progress this bliss ship mechanic a new character this late in the game no way moritz you take those substan substandard filters back to the sh shit heels who sold them to you you hear the voice echoing out of the bay as you pass and moments later someone who you assume is moritz drifts out with it dragging a pallet of filter cartridges by a tether hey you out there the same voice echoes out of the, de the entrance looking for work yes I just need a hand. Get in here. The voice is coming from someone shorter than you expected. She is floating in the microgravity of the docking bay, beside a half-deconstructed uh, life support unit that looks like it might have exploded at some point. She points a wrench in your direction. You know anything about these things? She doesn't wait for an answer. Scratch that. Just help me with the casing. Help her. All right, then. She deftly moves around the unit, making space for you beside the central seam in the dented case. Just take a grip here and lift out and up. Then I can get in and unbolt it. She whacks the unit with a wrench. Whole thing is twisted to shit. You dig your fingers under the casing and lift it away. The metal squealing from the force. She puts her hands under, spinning the wrench to s slip out the bolts, catching them in her other hand when they spiral free. All good. The casing lifts off, revealing the ornate piping of the unit's interior. She whistles at the mess of ducks and filters. By the way, everyone calls me Bliss. She pats you on the shoulder, offering little in the way of an explanation. What do you do here? 
repairs, fit ups, tear downs. Bliss starts pushing and pulling at the ductwork, looking uh, for fractured pips, pipes, sorry, not pips. We haggle for contracts, but the good ones get snapped up quite uh, quickly by the bigger bays. So here I am trying to get this M2 unit running again for one of the freelance tugs. Small time stuff. Hold this. She rips out a ripped, uh, ribbed pipe and hands it to you like a freshly caught fish. We turn stuff around fast and neat, and maybe we get a chance at landing something bigger. Something starts hissing in the unit, and Bliss quietens it with a, pra a precise whack. But to be honest with you, the way things are going, I can already see the other crews licking their lips, ready to take this place over. She looks up at you. I'm almost out of luck. What happened? Long story. Some people just can't keep promises. She keeps working, twisting aside pipes with care. There we are. Bliss pulls her hand from deep inside the unit, and out it comes, clutching a lumpen cube, scorched black. This thing must have overloaded and popped half of itself out the side. You both duck down to the side of the unit and spot the exit wound, its edges fringed with more scorch marks. Grab me a replacement converter from the racks, will you? Head to the racks. You kick off from the unit and drift over to the, the wall racks, where a catalog of parts sit secured in clamps. Colored tapes, uh, colored tapes and scrawled notes flutter across the wall, a complex organizational system of Bliss's own design, or just a big mess. You try to pick out the right part. Uh, M2 converter. You grab the part and push back to the unit. Bliss holds out an arm and you pass it over. The converter spinning gently as it leaves your hand. Perfect, you passed. She straightens up from the unit. That is, if you want to work here. Bliss rubs her hands clean, looking down at her palms. Truth is, I need a hand here. My partner skipped out on me and left me with a whole mess. You seem like you might at least be better at spotting a clean air filter than Moritz. I'd be happy to. Wait, she frowns at the racks. That's not all of it. My old business partner. They rinsed the place, emptied the accounts to bid for jobs. We need to put down deposits, bring in parts, pay tug fees. For that, she looks nervous, embarrassed. We need chits. You want me to pay to work? Come on, it's not like that. We'd be partners. Straight split. Bliss settles herself against the unit and looks off into the distance. I guess I look pretty stupid. Here I am asking any random passenger or pa passerby to get my to be my business partner. No offense. She manages a smile. It is pretty weird. She gives you a sideways look. Don't tease me. Bliss goes back to working on the unit. Look, it's no pressure. You find the money or you find someone who has, or you just need, uh, just forget the whole thing, up to you. She gestures for you to help her refit the casing, and you both slot it back into place. I think I'm good to wrap this one up for now. But if you're into it, come back and we can bid on a new contract. Something to get our teeth into. Something that pays. She gives you a serious look. You can trust me. I don't say this stuff lightly. You kick away from the bay, propelling yourself back to the hand uh, handholds at the entrance. You slip out of a uh, out with a wave, and as you do, someone slips back in. You hear Bliss, Bliss, sorry, as you glide down the passageway. Moritz, I swear to God, if those filters aren't clean, you smile. Seems like this could be interesting. New drive. Well, I thought I was going to be making progress. What is this? Kisho capsules. Space or sleeping berths. What? The only place to sleep on the hub. Hacked off a colony ship and welded to the ring. They are surprisingly expensive to rent. I progressed the wrong thing, didn't I? This is the side reel dock. This is what I wanted to progress. Oopsie doodle. That's fine. We can do this as well. Scout the dock. And I'll re-roll my last dice into a three. That'll make it a four with a slight risk, but it's fine. Uh, well, I kind of wish that had succeeded, but whatever. Bliss Bay. We can throw a hundred credits at this. That seems like a worthy investment. I feel like all storylines kind of feed into each other in a little, in some way. So, you know, I think that it's worth feeding into anything. Also, I'm get I'm getting Chivos for all of this, so of course it's worth it. Chivos. 
Yo, I gotta get them Chivos. Build up my Steam Gamer score credit. All right. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode, and I'm gonna go ahead and sleep both in the game and probably real life now. Um, but uh, I hope that you are enjoying this series. And if you are, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.